hello guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am Anne Ain polchen i'm an author and i also do business now today's video i'm just going to show you how to qu make quick muffins using short bought um muffin mix so i've got six um muffin cases here in the muffin tin okay and then for the ingredients all you need to do is have your ready mixed um what's it called muffin mix okay this one has got dark chocolate chips in there and it's a chocolate baking kit okay so if you buy one of these all you need to do is add the ingredients at the bottom which is one egg milk and vegetable oil now personally i normally put six tablespoons of vegetable oil and then one egg and a cup and a half of milk okay so let us do that in a bowl so i've got my whole milk here and then my um, vegetable oil here so i'm going to start and then the muffin mix okay so in my bowl i put my dry ingredient I hope you guys are having a good day by the way today is wednesday and this muffins these muffins are good for snack or even as a dessert treat you can just take the case out and add your your um What's it called? If you don't have cake at home, you can just add the custard to it. Sorry, <laughs> ready made custard to it. So, my tablespoon here, I'm going to add my oil now. One, I'm using my other hand to film, guys. So, in case you're wondering, like, what's happening here? So this oil will make your muffin moist and not dry. So four. Five. And last one. okay so I'm just going to use this to lightly mix it don't mix it too hard because it's got the chips in there already chocolate chips in there so now the next thing i'm going to add is my milk it's here i'm 
So I've got my measuring jug. Okay. And it's one a half and a half cup that I'm going to do to pour out. So that's it. Before I add the other half, I'm going to check because the recipe that I used one and a half on was for 12 muffins because this, this is a 12 muffin um, tin. Okay, but this is six. So you know what? I'm not going to add the half of the milk. Okay, I'm just going to keep it at the one cup. Okay, because as you can see my mix here, what it's doing. Now, last thing is to add my egg and then mix it together and I'll pour the, I'll begin to scoop out the mix into, into the muffin case. Now you only put halfway to the muffin case, um, to the muffin case. You don't fill up the muffin case. Otherwise it will spill over. Okay. So you fill your, um, muffin case halfway so that when it rises, it will fill up the muffin case case okay so that's it without it spilling over everywhere in your oven so i've cracked my egg now i'm going to do that the rest of camera at the minute so i've got my oven preheating you can see the light and then let me just now go and spoon my mix into the into the muffin case right Uh -huh. It's a bit dark because I didn't turn on the light. And outside it's been drizzling since morning. It's now afternoon. So I normally start with at least two tablespoons per case. So that I don't um, run out of the mix and then whatever is left over then I fill up the rest of the part of the case make sure your case is sat in the middle nicely so that it'll absorb the heat now in case you you put too much milk to thicken your to thicken your mix into this consistency you just add a tablespoon of um, plain flour oh my goodness I've done a blender 
have done a blend. It's okay. I'll wipe it when before I put it in the oven. Yeah, and then you put half a teaspoon of baking powder so that you make sure that it rises. But now, if, if everything, you do it nicely and you get a nice um, mixed consistency, then you wouldn't need to add anything else apart from what you've already added which is your oil your milk your one egg to the to the flour and and chocolate chips with cocoa in there okay You preheat your, you're supposed to preheat your oven while you do this on gas mark five. So I put my oven normally on 200 centigrade. No, oh yeah. Um, So you see, I've still got quite a lot of mix. Don't be alarmed when that happens. All you have to do is just add baking, um, add muffin cases or cupcake cases, <laughs> and you have more muffins, which I'm going, which is what I'm going to do. So this is really good to have in your pantry because in case your children want snack or you have to take them somewhere like you have to to bring something to school or to a friend's party or to a family gathering or something and you need to bring you know, like a snack or something, it's good to have. You can just whip up some muffins and put them in a airtight container and take with you. Or if so, I've got a few cupcake cases which comes handy because i normally get quite a few of these um ready mix whether it's cupcakes muffins or even um or even cookies so let me start with those three and see how it goes.
and it only takes 10 to 12 minutes for your muffins to cook yeah 10 to 12 minutes you check when it's risen and after 10 minutes you check no after five minutes you check if it's risen and then give it another five minutes see if it's come all the way to the top and then you put your you use a toothpick to see if it comes out clean okay the last one because now the mix is just enough for one more muffin case in this situation is <laughs> cupcake case Right, I'm now going to pop it in the oven and then I'll show you once it's done. So our muffin has risen, if you can look through there. Okay, so I'm going to leave it for a few more minutes. Like about seven more minutes and it should be cooked and ready to take out. So it's still continue to rising as is continuing to rise and even those that are in the cupcake case have risen this side the extras they've risen beautifully and don't worry about the cracks because normally that's what happens um, with the with the um, with the chocolate one okay so we'll come back so I've opened the oven but when you look closely some of them have not fully um, dried yet especially like that one so I'll leave it in there for a few minutes but I'm going to turn the oven off I'll just leave the light on and um the heat the rest the heat that's in there already will cook the rest of the way and finish because it's already cooked anyway as you can see it just needs to rest a bit so that's it i've turned the light off and let's bring it So that's it. That's the muffins cooked. Those are just the parts where it poured whilst we were, well, whilst I was putting it into the muffin cases, the mix. So that's it. It's got nice brown color to it. Now let me check if it's truly cooked. I'll just use a fork. See, it comes out clean. That means it's thoroughly cooked. Okay. So 
So there. They're all practically cooked. That's it, guys. So let me know in the comment section if you've tried muff um, chocolate muffin or any other flavor of muffins before. Let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite um, of them all. I like the, what's it called? I like chocolate muffins, whether it's the white chocolate or the dark chocolate or milk chocolate. Um, I like those. But recently I've tried the cherry muffin, which is also really, really nice. So check out the rest, um, the rest of the ingredients for the rest of the muffins and you can try baking it at home just the way I've done this one. Okay. That's it guys. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.